YouTube ad is the most annoying thing for most of us, while watching a video. At the start or middle of a video, the advertisements distracts us a lot. YouTube definitely offers a premium plan to remove the ads. For that, you have to pay money. But wait! We are software professionals. Can we think a way out to skip the ad and directly go to the video? We shall try that now. So let's begin. Okay, so to achieve our purpose, we shall develop a Google Chrome extension. Chrome extension will help us to access the YouTube page's HTML content, where we shall do our magic. To develop a Chrome extension, create a folder in your system. Like, I have created a workspace folder here, and opened in VS Code Editor. The main file for a Chrome extension is manifest.json. So let's create a manifest file. In the manifest file, we have to keep a JSON like this. I'm going to explain this, and also attach the file link in video description. First we have to provide an extension name. Let's put it as, YouTube Ad Skip. Let's just provide same description. Next, we have to mention the version, which I have kept 1.0. After that, we have to write the content script section. Inside that, we have the JavaScript file name. This script file will be executed. The run, at section defines, at which point the script will execute. As per these lines, script.js file, will execute at document idle state, means when the page load will be completed. And then we can define, for which URLs, we want our script to be executed. We can use wildcard to match the URLs. But to keep things simple, I'm going to enable it for all URLs now. And, the final part is permission. We need to mention, what are the permissions required to the extension. I have added here tabs, and active tab. Which means, this extension can access open Chrome tabs, and the HTML content of active tab. Now to understand, the process of skipping ad, we need to look into YouTube's HTML. As you can notice, the countdown ad container is present here. Just below of that container, you will get to see the skip button container. Which is initially hidden, by display none. If we remove the display none style, from the element. And also from its child element, we can see the skip button. Now, if we click on the skip button, the advertisement will be skipped, and original video will be started. So, to skip the advertisement always, we just have to click on the skip button programmatically. Right? Let's copy the button's class name, and go to VS Code. Let me create a JavaScript file here, script.js. We shall run our code in each 3 seconds, to skip any ad, which will appear in the middle of a video. Now, first we shall select the skip button. Then, we shall check if the button is exists in the page. Because all videos don't show advertisement. If button is present, we shall log something, for our understanding. And then click on the button. I am going to attach the scripts link in video description. If you have any doubt about this script, please let me know in comment section. Now, we shall import it, in Chrome. Before that, let me request you all, please subscribe to my channel Codeboard. Your subscriptions, likes and comments motivate me, to create many such interesting videos for all of you. To add our developed extension, go to Chrome. Click on the extension icon. Then click on Manage Extension. In the Manage Extension page, click on Load Unpacked. Now we have to select our workspace folder. Once this is done, you can notice the extension is added in Chrome. If I go back to another tab, and click on extension icon, I shall get to see my new extension, in the extension list. We are ready to test it now. Now, let me open a video. As you can see, ad is started here. And, when it is 4 seconds to go, advertisement is skipped automatically, and original video is started. In console, you can notice the text, ad detected. But you might ask, still advertisement is showing for 1 second. Yeah. That's true. For fixing that, we need to modify the script a bit. You can try that yourself. Or, please let me know in comment section, if you want me to create another video, on modifying script. And also, how to publish extension in Chrome Store. So that's it for today guys. Please share this video with your friends. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and put your feedback comment below. Bye for now.